Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new to my channel, I'm Rossi and this is my son. I run a blog, Air Galaxy, and the link is in the description if you're interested. So for today's video, I thought that I could do an unboxing. Um, I received my BoxyCharm in my Sephora box last week, but I've been kind of sitting on these boxes and just today I ended up taking pictures and I thought why not just do a try-on style video for you guys. And as you can tell, I do have a new setup. I'm just trying to take advantage of all the natural lighting that I have during the summer and uh, we'll see how I like it, how you guys like it, let me know what you think. For the record, I am not going to be showing you one box at a time. I've already looked into the boxes, so I already know what I have. Since it is a try-on video, I will be going through these one at a time. Also, if you do hear some sounds in the background, that's my son. He's going to be here in the room with me, and my camera kind of sucks for, for filming, and it's going to be picking up pretty much every little sound. And, um... Yeah, <laughs> and then yeah. <laughs> so he's gonna be my little helper today. So happy to be here. There we go. Love you. So let's just get started with this video. So the first product that I want to talk about uh, came in my Sephora box. It's this little guy right here, and it, this is the Briogeo Rosarco Blow Dry Perfection and Heat Protecting Cream. One thing, I do not blow dry my hair. <laughs> Ever nowadays because it does damage your hair. Briogeo's products are so 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 good but my dryer sucks. It's ancient so anytime I blow dry my hair it literally becomes a frizzy mess that it's almost unmanageable so in order for me to use these products I have to get a new one. Maybe I'll give it away I'm not entirely sure. Next I'm gonna be showing you a product that I got in my boxy charm. This next product that I got is the Dr. Brand No More Baggage. It's an IED puffing gel. With this product you're guaranteed visibly reduced under eye bags and dark circles. So it definitely has an interesting color. It feels pretty thick. I'm not entirely sure what to think of this yet. Um, I might end up having to use it for a couple of weeks maybe and then seeing if it actually does anything. The next three products that I'm going to show you uh, came in my Sephora box. The first one is, and I'm probably going to butcher the name, Biosans Squalane and Probiotic Gel Moisturizer. Let's just call it a gel moisturizer <laughs> because I'm pretty sure that I did not say that correctly. The second one is Chorus Wild Rose Vitamin C Brightening Oil and this one is for all skin types. And the third product is the Algenist Genius Liquid Collagen. So I'm not entirely sure what order I'm supposed to use them in. So I guess I'm just going to have to leave these uh, for tonight while I do more research on these. So I'm just going to use a little bit of this moisturizer. It's incredibly lightweight and it feels so refreshing. I do feel like my skin is absorbing it pretty quick. So I don't have any makeup on yet, but I am going to do my eyebrows and my face real quick. And then I'll hop back on to show you the rest of the products. Okay guys, I'm back for my eyebrows. I use the It Cosmetics uh, Brow Power Universal Eyebrow Pencil, the Brow Gel, the Instant Tinted Brow Gel. For my base, I used this Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. It's a little sample that I got in my Sephora box. I also used two shades of the NYX HD Studio Photogenic Concealer. I ended up using this uh, NYX Stay Matte and Matte Flat Powder Foundation for my face and this Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer to warm up my face a little bit. For my eyes, I use the Coastal Sense Step 1 Eye Primer and this Banana Setting Powder to set my eyelids. I probably should have shown you guys uh, these two products that I got in my BoxyCharm. The first one is this Shella Tantalizing Taupe Eyebrow Cream. And the second one is this Wonder Beauty Unlashed Volume and Curl Mascara. So obviously I know that I had this eyebrow cream. It has a brush and then the cream is on the other side and you just sort of dip the brush in. I didn't use it because I'm not entirely sure that I want it. Might go in the giveaway pile, I'm not entirely sure yet. And this one I'm not going to use up right now. I don't want to have too many mascaras opened at once because they're just all going to go bad. So this month I got two blushes. I got this Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush in Party. And this Note Cosmetics Luminous Silk Compact Blusher. And this one is in the shade... Desert Rose. I already have this blush. The formula is pretty good and I think I'm gonna leave the new one in a giveaway pile. The color looks really really gorgeous and pretty peachy whereas this one looks pretty pale on me. This one is the Tarte one 
and this one is a Node Cosmetics one. So I'm kind of leaning more towards using this one. So let's just finish off the face real quick. There's a lot on this brush. You can't see much on camera, but it is pretty pigmented and it looks like a really nice shade. It's blending out really well. I'm going to highlight very quickly with the Mary Luminizer. Now we can finally move on to the eyes and this palette I actually got in my BoxyCharm as most of you might already know. It was actually a surprise to me when I opened my box because I managed to avoid all the spoilers that they have on their Instagram. So I was pleasantly surprised when I opened it and got this little bad boy out of the box. And that is how it looks. I think it's super gorgeous. It has five matte shades it seems like or maybe they're satin. Um, it doesn't really say here and they also don't even have names so that's kind of disappointing but at least it has a mirror so that's also really neat. Let's just start and then we'll go from there. So I'm going to use this shade on my crease. I'm loving that there's like no kickback. I love that. I haven't done my makeup in a while so if I'm a little rusty, forgive me. So I'm just going to go ahead and use this darker one right underneath. I'm just kind of patting it in where I want more color. I'm just going to use this one right here. I'm just going to use the darkest shade. I'm just going to put it on the outer V and on the crease. I'm going to use the same shades for my lower lash line. I'm trying to think of what would be a good shade to use for the lid. And I'm just going to go with this one. And I'm just going to use my finger. My camera overheated, so I decided to just finish off the eyes. I used the Clinique Pretty Easy Liquid Eyelining Pen for eyeliner. This Essence Pencil to Tightline. And the IT Cosmetics Superhero Mascara, even though I don't like it that much. And I went back into the palette to use this white shade to put it in the corners of my eyes to sort of brighten up my eyes a little bit. Lastly is the lipstick and this one I got in my Sephora box. The Tarte Color Splash Lipstick Rainforest of the Sea Collection and Salt Life. I love the packaging of this lipstick. It's very gorgeous and the shade also looks very pretty. Kind of like a mauve purpley shade. It most likely has pink undertones. This will be the lipstick that I am going to use for today. It's very creamy, but I'm not entirely sure that it goes with this eye look. I'm going to take it off and find a different one. I have this Ofra lipstick that I got in my BoxyCharm last month. This will be my first time using this one, so let's just give it a shot and hope that it goes with this eye look. I think I like this combo so much better. I liked most of the products. This one's a creamy lipstick, although it might be kind of light on me. I loved the blush. This palette is really pretty, but I have a feeling that I have a lot of these shades in two palettes. I'm gonna have to keep playing with it until I do my review, which might be a couple weeks from now. Obviously, the skincare products, I'm gonna have to wait until tonight. And there are still two other products that I haven't tried yet, uh, the mascara and the eyebrow cream. But yeah, you guys, that is it. This is the finished look. This was so much fun. Um, I think I'm going to start doing this more often. I love unboxing videos and I also love trying things on. So I hope that this video was also fun for you. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you on my next video. Bye.